Papa's a man And he's got a great plan Oh, oh, and everybody's got a great sometime Yeah, yeah So Papa, don't cry Cry, cry, cry Papa's a good boy 20 in times And I told him Papa's good boy right before his eyes We have an awesome boot camp battle stations never before seen, never before reacted to. Battle stations 21, the final test in Navy boot camp. We're reacting to it today. We're breaking it down. Page 13, you guys have to sign. Saying that you cannot discuss battle station events to other sailors that are going to be joining new recruits. Found a interesting clip on YouTube with thousands and thousands of views. I'm not really talking too much about battle stations, so I'm not going to really be talking about it. We're going to be reacting to it. So let's get into this video. Putting on a shirt. No uh, nips today, boys. No nips today. So like I just said, battle stations is the accumulation of all of your Navy boot camp extensive eight week training. This comes at the very, very end of uh, boot camp. You will be on very little sleep. You will be on no sleep. Uh, Battle Stations is overnight. It's an overnight thing. So it goes on the whole evening all the way into the early morning and uh, usually you're done when the sun rises. Before they had this new Battle Stations 21 big huge simulation uh, ship that like Universal Studios or some huge company built. I believe it's Universal Studios. You guys used to have to run around the whole base. There was like stations that you would have to go to and complete these tasks. So now everything is done on this simulated ship. So it's a pretty interesting environment. Um, I think it was pretty fun for the most part. It's going to be pretty interesting uh, when we react to this. And uh, yeah, man. The ship you are about to board is named for a man who never wavered in his dedication We're to the it. Navy and to his fellow sailors. We're in it. In 1911, he led the very first division of recruits through Recruit Training Command. 1911. He was committed to ensuring that every recruit that stepped onto RTC soil would be able man. to serve their country to the best of their ability. 1911. That was only the beginning of his accomplishments. He began as an enlisted sailor. We're getting like a recruits as a chief petty officer. We're getting and a whole history. Rose to the rank of lieutenant commander. His high standards of excellence and fearless devotion to duty were rewarded with a Navy Cross in 1917. Nice. Giving this destroyer the name USS Trayer honors the career of a man who laid the right, foundation that's what it is. for every sailor USS Trayer from recruit training command. Many Navy warships bear the names of great Navy heroes. Oh, yeah. These heroes and their accomplishments evoke our Summary. proud heritage of honor, courage, and commitment. Carrier! Since 1997, Battle Stations has been the capstone event at Recruit Training Command's Navy Boot Camp in the transformation from civilian to So sailor. before 1997, there was no Battle, Battle Stations State. conception. Recruits were required to complete six events over eight hours. Okay, over six the next events. Decade, these six events evolved into 13 tests of recruit knowledge and resourcefulness spanning 12 hours. The recruit division commanders hours. tasked with creating this challenge the whole night mainly with motivation and a clear So this looks like before they had the, the USS Trayer, the, the big, escape big ship. Based on the mishaps and lessons learned aboard USS Forrestal in July 1967. The Forrestal escape scuttle tested sailors in their attempts to avoid hot pipes, hot bulkheads, and blocked passageways. Hey, I remember escape that. The escape scuttle proved to be an event that stood the test of time, from the first divisions that ran battle stations on into the modern era. Crawling. All the legacy crawling battle station through. scenarios Some crazy paved the stuff. way for exciting new ideas and training methods that those recruit division commanders could only dream of. Yeah, they don't have this anymore. While the events in Legacy Battle Stations were designed to test recruits' leadership, teamwork, and ability to apply Navy Corps values, 
It also provided Navy leadership. With yeah, you don't go. Lessons you don't go through all these stations like this anymore. The it's all simulated on the fake ship. Ten years later, Battle Stations 21 is the Department of Defense's most cutting-edge trainer. Entering a 157,000 square foot building, oh, there'll be a lot the of standing find around. Themselves on a pier, gazing at a 210 foot. You stand at that pier for a long time, time, waiting. This is the USS Trayer, aptly named for Great Lakes First Division Commander of Recruits. It's an interesting history. It's complete with a facade that Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's like a freaking movie set. Extra realism is added thanks to special effects lighting. Smells of the sea. <laughs> so Smells of the sea. Thousand gallons of water splashing between the pier and the ship. USS Trayer feels, smells, sounds, and looks like the real thing, thanks to the incorporation of the latest in virtual reality, entertainment technology, and modern construction techniques. It is pretty. I mean, like I said, it's pretty fun. This totally immersive environment. Recruits proceed to 17 different shipboard scenarios that test problem solving, communication, 17. and other essential Wow, so now there's a lot. Also incorporating realistic consequences for their actions. You guys are doing stuff all night. Cutting edge, multi-sensory technology produces a state-of-the-art simulation, while sophisticated systems allow you go through tasks to control each simulation with a wireless personal digital assistant. All the 12 hours, you're Four doing divisions something. of sailors. A total of 352 recruits and their facilitators will be able to move through the facility at once. This is night, it, man. This is what you guys will be doing. Be held every night of the year. Multiple events can occur in various spaces simultaneously, and facilitators can reset these scenarios. It's it's, several uh, times it's almost events, impossible to so fail. So all participants can. Just letting you guys know, event. it's it's a lot of team building. It's a lot of stuff you're doing as a group. It's almost impossible hands-on approach for the to fail battle stations unless you. Stations. Each watch station so little do it have a huge blunder. The Eleven general orders of a century. I don't even, I didn't hear of anybody failing battle stations in my division. General, general orders, all hands, bang your battle stations. Reason for general quarters, missile inbound, port side. All traffic move up and forward, starboard side, down and out. So you're doing everything side. together. General you know? orders scenarios provide casualty response training to save the ship. Included in these general quarter scenarios are <laughs> oh magazine God. flooding, where recruits tasked with moving 200 rounds of ammunition while battling progressive flooding. You just, you're to you're recruits, moving stuff. The magazine flooding scenario right here. provides what seems like an unachievable goal. Plugging the, the, the leaks. Emergency and the illusion of Fixing being the leaks. Away, the recruits need to fall DC back on damage control training, while stuff. constantly remembering a key phrase, work as a team. In emergency team events, building. recruits find themselves trapped by fire in a repair locker. Using nothing more than a couple of battle lanterns and teamwork, they must escape from a scuttle and navigate a smoke-filled passage. Yeah. Having no prior knowledge of the space and very limited visibility, that part was they must fun. rely on one another. Their you gotta like do a crazy escape to make their way to safety. This part was fun. Can't see anything. Everybody get on a shoulder. I'll see all the smoke. In the mass casualty scenario, state-of-the-art technology and a dramatic recreation places recruits in a situation eerily similar to that of the USS Cole in October 2000 oh, wow. when she was attacked in Yemen. See, they take recruits a lot of... search through a collapsed mess deck and birthing area for their fallen shipmates. Interesting. This scenario is made even more realistic because actual survivors of the USS Cole, who were stationed at Naval Station Great Lakes, had an input in the eventual scenario. Things like the Forestall Fire, the USS Cole, Incident. They take all these USS mishaps takes the in the history, applications learned at recruit training command, and, and they use it to teach us a real to train. Scenario. From general quarters sounding and teams being called away to their repair lockers, to recruits donning protective gear and manning the hoses while preparing to fight a live fire, this training is some of the most realistic in the Navy. As recruits are put into the position of sailors in the fleet and expected to perform. It's like some flash. It's like the Universal Studios ride. Was the fire, you know, the fire the ride on Universal Battle Flashback Station or something? It's a motivating and emotional ceremony during which each sailor removes their recruit ball cap Here we go at the and end. places it with a Navy ball cap. When you this get your, marks the end your Navy the ball cap, everyone, training. you're supposed to cry. By placing the ball cap on their head, <laughs> each new sailor tells the world that they deserve <laughs> the right to be called a United States sailor. With this privilege, 
comes an increased it's pretty awesome. I don't think I to act according to some people cry. I don't think I cry, but courage and nothing wrong if you do to live up to the meaning of the pretty, worship me. Pretty awesome moment. Recruit Training Command Great Lakes has completed a major transformation in the way it provides the final test for recruits. Yeah. The culmination of over a decade of revisions and innovations, along with engineering and technology, Battle Stations 21 realistic training will save lives and ships. And most importantly, it will send a better trained sailor to the fleet. So you guys, at the end of the day, uh, Battle Stations 21, it's a fun time. Some parts are fun, sometimes some parts are going to be very uh, monotonous, very boring. You're going to be doing a lot of waiting, a lot of, a lot of touch and goes, trying not to fall asleep. But it's worth it. Once you, the sun rises that next morning, once you get done with however long you're in there, I believe they said it's like a 10 to 12 hour evolution. It's not like the army or the marines where, you know, it's physical, you got to do this big rough or you're up for 72 hours straight doing all this physical stuff. The Navy is always more mentally um, tasking. You know, being in all these different emergency scenarios on the ship. Being able to save the ship. Um, that's the number one thing. You know, not letting the ship go down. Being able to do proper DC damage control. A lot, most people are not gonna be having to do all that stuff. Myself being an Airedale, uh, an aviation mechanic, being part of a squadron. When we did general quarter drills, um, GQ, and uh, battle station type scenarios when we were deployed, all I did was go into my compartment. You know, we would go into our compartment and just chill and hang out because we weren't involved in a lot of those tasks. Now, the only stuff that we would do is if there was stuff going up on the flight deck. There are a lot of flight deck emergency drills that you will do as an Airedale, as an aviation type job um, on a carrier. But the parts about saving the ship, the inside of the ship, that's not really what you're going to be doing unless you are a black shoe or a DC man, um, a, a seaman type rate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys go in and check out Sandbox, the world's fastest growing military app. Link below. If you download the app, it helps out the channel and it helps out um, their company as well. Thank you guys so much for all the support. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Papa's a man. And he's got a great plan. Oh, oh, and everybody's got a great sometime. Yeah, yeah. So, Papa, don't cry. Hi, Papa.